AMR is uh, yes, killing people. We have the estimates that shows us that more than one million lives are lost every year due to drug resistance pathogens. That's huge. People are used to have infections or having their relative having infections. And they usually go to the hospitals and they are prescribed the medicines that they, they call antibiotics, antivirals, antiparasitics, and those medicines are there to combat those infections and people get healed. The same diseases also affect the plants, affect the animals. So those medicines that we call antimicrobial drugs are very critical to get people, animals and plants to have better lives. So antimicrobial resistance, that happens when those same drugs are no longer working to fight those diseases. And that happens due to misuse and overuse of these medicines. And if we don't protect those medicines, the antimicrobial resistance or AMR is going to continue to grow. And it's going to take our lives. It's going as well to affect our economies. And it's going as well to somehow affect the environment. We're having this meeting because the world leaders now have come to recognize that the AMR is a big threat to the lives, to the economies and the livelihoods. We are fortunate to have this meeting because the last one was uh, in 2016. We want the world leaders to be decisive and make the critical actions towards addressing AMR through preventative mechanisms but also to ensure appropriate access to and responsible use of antimicrobials. We also expect the world leaders to make tangible commitments towards financing for AMR response. I'm hoping to see in the coming years less death due to AMR, less impact to the economies, and less impact to the environment. And this is going to be the right path. I have hope that we'll have a better world.